your operations are the heartbeat to your business. I created this podcast to help you balance your childlike innovation with parent-like efficiency. Welcome to Daily Ops Boost. Team, one question that I usually get while either consulting or whether I'm at a networking event is hiring the right staff at the right time, when, where, who exactly should we hire? And there's no clear roadmap that I've seen as far as like, hey, who do we hire when? And really, there isn't a clear roadmap. And it's not going to be someone specific that you're going to bring in at a certain revenue point or who you should specifically hire first. Uh, and I think there's there, there's tiers, right? There's tiers to hiring people. And we have to understand who we need for different tiers or stages of the agency. And so the way that I've kind of like broken this out, and this is just my my sense on it of what you should be thinking about and when when it comes to hiring your first people within your organization now for agencies doing between like 200 and 500k per year well it's still very early on in that stage and it's like i try to hold off on on hiring full-time employees as as long as possible because we want to keep the revenue per head extremely high and you got to think about it as a founder you probably want to make a decent living and so if you have 250k per year that you're generating for your agency well it doesn't leave a whole lot for you know employees maybe some contractors things like that but you know between that 250k to 500k per year there's not a ton of opportunity to bring on new people now once again, at this stage, it's it's still very early on. Um, a, a lot of agencies at this point are really trying to secure themselves uh, as market leaders, right? We talk about market leader positioning, right? A lot of people are still trying to position themselves as a market leader here and uh, stabilize their cash flow in order to have you know good recurring revenue so they feel good about bringing on their first hires. And so really the foundation or the main focus of this stage here is one of course build a strong foundation but replacing yourself as the main laborer inside of your organization now with that being said you know who do we look for exactly well a lot of times we're looking to replace ourselves in the fulfillment lane now here's the thing there's a caveat to this of like hey every agency owner is going to be different every business owner is going to be different so how you replace yourself inside of a business is going to differ it's not going to be a you know cookie cutter approach of like hey this is the first position that you should replace first because we all have different skill sets and we all have um uh different opportunities within the business uh to bring people in now with that being said, here's a handful of people that you might want to replace. Things like, you know, more of like general marketers, someone that can take the reins of a lot of the client fulfillment. Maybe you have account managers or maybe very specific roles like social media managers or content creators, um, production specialists, things that are going to take things off of your plate to help you get more time and energy back into your day so you can focus on, you know, more high level things like uh, being, you know, uh, sales oriented, driving marketing, uh, building some of those initial relationships you need inside of an agency or inside of your business to start stacking more cash on top of each other. But the idea is that we are buying some time back with skilled labor in order to open up a little bit more time inside of the organization for really high leverage, high important activities that only you as a founder can probably do at this time. Now, uh, with that being said, you know, you might bring in a copywriter, right, to to help write your ads. You might bring in a paid media expert, right, someone, a uh, media buyer, head media buyer, something like along those lines. You want your first hire or your first few hires to be very strategic and people that will hopefully grow and build with, with the organization. And with that being said, it, it is tough, right? Because like who, like who do we go after first? Well, normally the way that I narrow this down is going to be like, what do we actually not enjoy doing within the business? And what takes up a lot of time? Those are the two things that I currently, you know, would replace myself with. Like if I don't enjoy sales, I'll probably quickly replace myself in sales. Now, as the founder, chances are you probably want to stay in sales and drive sales because they tend to be the best person to sell. So not going to be my first option, uh, but a, a lot of times it's going to be on the fulfillment side, right? So for our consultancy, like we brought on consultants, right? People that could help uh, distribute some of the day-to-day -day labor of fulfillment, right? This could be, once again, media buying. And there's a lot of different roles that you as an agency owner, or you as a business owner are looking to pass off to someone that has a skilled labor uh, uh, in, in a specific department. Okay. Now the idea here, get time back 
okay, and be able to pass off things that you don't enjoy working on in the business or that take up a crazy amount of time uh, so you can't focus on more of the, the more strategic thinking, okay? So that's like 250 to 500K. Now, as far as like how many employees should we have, okay, uh, it really doesn't matter at this point. Like I like contracted work at this point of like, hey, we're, we're you know, getting people in and we're giving them a good shot or a good test run and then eventually graduating them into a full-time position. But um, as far as like how many people should you have, it's as few as possible, right? The idea is that our revenue per head is going to stay high. A little bit difficult when you first get into this position here, uh, but the idea is that we keep our revenue per head high and we try to delay uh, as much as we possibly can our first hires, right? Because we want to be able to actually support them because it, it can be tough, right? Especially bringing in those first hires, it's new operating expenses. You got to be able to handle those salary loads. And so with that being said, at that 250K, 500K, I feel like I'm droning at this stage by now, but uh, delay as long as possible. Okay. Now, if you wanted to go a little bit faster growth and you're willing to sacrifice margin, just know that's fine too. Uh, you have your own preference on how you run a business, but from the clarity standpoint on the making the best decision for the business, for the employee point, right? Normally having some extra margin to play with and the comfort of bringing on that first employee can be helpful. Okay. Now that's 250K to 500K per year. Well, let's talk about agencies or businesses that are between 500K and $2 million per year. As the agency grows, you're going to probably find that your specialization of like who you bring on board needs to increase. Okay. Now this is going to do a couple things. One, maintain quality within our agency. It's also going to help improve efficiency. And the goal is to start building a managing staff. So first tier, right? We're building skilled laborers to get our time back. Okay. The second thing that we're going to do is start to build a management team around those laborers and give promotions internally in order to get even more time back within the organization. We don't have to manage the KPIs of that department. We can have a management staff in place. Now, at this point, this is where people are like, oh, I need a COO, right? And we talked about this of like, chances are you don't need a C-level employee probably until, until uh, that like high you know, uh, 10 million type range. So with that being said, like ops manager would be a really good person to bring in here. So if you're wanting someone to help you with ops, then go ahead and bring on, bring on an ops manager, right? Or maybe you're really horrible at sales. This might be a time to start developing some of the sales team at this point. Okay. Uh, but at this point, you know, for me, like if I was rebuilding an agency, I'd be like looking for very dedicated account managers. I'd be looking for team leaders and managers that can overlook some of those positions and very specified roles that are going to support fulfillment and make a, either a great client experience or make our delivery a higher level. Okay. Now that's where someone like an operations manager would potentially come in or, uh, at this point, like, yeah, you should have like an accountant, um, and, and someone helping you on the financial side as well. That's normally contracted labor, but between this five and, and $2 million per year, uh, that's who we're looking to, to potentially bring on. Now let's talk about agencies between the two to $5 million, uh, per year. Now, this is where we start to collect our directors. Okay. Uh, in directors, you know, once again, not going to be C level, uh, employees, but they are going to be in charge of managing department level KPIs. So we talked about departments on this podcast before. So everything from lead gen sales, fulfillment, HR finance, whoever is in that, you could have a director of marketing, right? That could, that could manage your entire marketing department. They're helping you even, uh, make some of the strategic decisions inside of those departments. Okay. You might have a director of finance at this point in time. Okay. Someone that is bringing all of your bookkeeping internally. Uh, you might have a director of operations. So your ops manager gets that little, that little pay bump and that little promotion into director of operations. And at this point, we're trying to really build out what we consider, you know, like the, the middle management of directors and in the middle management of leaders. Right. And at this point, you might also be thinking about moving into more of a pod structure. The idea behind, I guess like the two to $5 million range is, is going to be, Hey, how can we get more out of the, the people that we have? So we call this more of like a, uh, expansion phase, right? How do we, how do we squeeze the uh, most amount of profit out of the, out of our pods or out of our current structure as possible? And a lot of times people move to a pod structure because they're managing a high number of clients and they need to be able to replicate 
whatever their service is over and over. And that's where we see pod structures come in place. And then, you know, this makes revenue per head very trackable from a standpoint of they have a certain amount of clients. So those clients pay a certain amount of revenue and we can track the profitability per pod, right? And, and almost make it competitive across pods, which I'm a huge fan of. Okay. Now, also at this point, like uh, a lot of people look for, um, you know, contracting some like legal counsel, tightening up documents, making sure that uh, making sure that contracts are holding their weight. Okay. Uh, you might have some outsourced legal counsel at this time. And then, um, you know, outside of that, I mean, there's really not much, right? It, it's more moving into like this director, uh, director roles, right? Building out that management team even more. And you're just buying even more time back, right? Because you're able to help. Uh, those positions are able to help with one, the labor, but two, managing KPIs across the entire department. Okay. Now let's talk about uh, agencies, businesses doing $10 million plus per year. Okay. This can also uh, uh, bring a new level of expansion, especially with your leadership team. Uh, this is where we possibly add in more of those C level roles, right? Uh, so chief operating officer, maybe chief finance officer, chief sales officer, things like that. Uh, and as you continue to grow, you might actually realize that you need global or regional um, head, heads of departments, right? So if you're buying agencies, if you're getting to the point where you have offices in other countries, okay, chances are you're going to need people that are regional or uh, uh, global heads, right? So once again, the leadership structure changes. And at this point, you know, when we're bringing on those levels, ideally, they're making all the decisions within that department. So if I'm bringing on a chief marketing officer, they are by far better than me as a marketer, they have a better grasp of that part of the business and they're able to make decisions at a high level. And I'm looking to pass that decision making off. And that's, that is the ultimate level to be at when it comes to building businesses, your ability to pass off decisions to the team. And it's not so reliant on you to make the decisions. Now, uh, at this point, you might also look at mergers and acquisitions for like Acquire, right? Uh, we see a lot of small agencies uh, get partnered with or get bought by uh, another, another larger agency to be a part of, of just a larger organization or be able to build a larger organization, right? And a couple different things on the acquisition side as well. Um, just know like it, it's not, the, the acquisition side is, is sometimes uh, overhyped. You don't have to, to go through an acquisition in order to build a $10 million per year business. Does it make it faster? Of course it does, but it does add some complexity because you're mi mixing cultures, you're mixing how things are done, uh, which is totally fine. We, we, we love a good aqua hire, uh, but not essential to reaching that $10 million uh, run rate. So I just want to throw that caveat in there. I think you know acquisitions are, are awesome. They're super fun. It's exciting, but Overall, I don't think it's the most important piece of, of how you're going to hire, right? And then $10 million plus, it's just continuing to solidify that management team, getting higher level people in the C-level positions uh, to help you make decisions, right? Because that's the whole goal. If you don't have to make decisions for the business in specific lanes, you could just help, help make the highest level decisions or guide your leaders into making the best decisions possible, then in my opinion, like that's a really great position to be in. Most CEOs, most founders of, of their business want to be at that level at some point, right? And so that's kind of how it scales out. I don't know if that was specifically helpful for you guys. That's how I think about uh, bringing on people. So first, it's going to be replacing labor, right? Making sure that we're getting time back from the labor that we're actually uh, that we're actually doing currently, things that we don't like within the business. From there, we're starting to develop that management team to help us manage people within our organization, help manage some of those KPIs. And then the director level, uh, that's where we start passing off things like decision-making, um, not fully, but you know, uh, for the most part, they are helping guide, manage KPI, and then also helping to start make decisions. And then eventually getting into that C-level position where they are managing fully the departments and can make decisions, can make hiring, firing decisions, all of that good stuff. So that's how it tears out as far as hiring structure goes. If you guys are just getting started in hiring, remember, just replace yourself in areas that you don't like, you don't enjoy, that are taking a ton of time away from you, and then you have more time to work on the most important activities. That's all I got for you guys today. A little bit longer episode than usual, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one. Yo, thank you so much for listening in to Daily Ops Boost. We really appreciate your attention. If you're enjoying the shorter form content, you're gonna absolutely love the long form content that we post over on YouTube. We do a live stream every single week, 7 p.m. Central Time. Go check it out, it's on YouTube. It's called Agency Therapy. We'll see you over there.